What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about trading with foot heroes and kind of the market implications they have. As well as we're going to talk about some recent things that I've been seeing on the market to give you kind of an overview. And I'll kind of tie this into my account and how I've used that as well. If today's video does help you out and you learn something about trading with heroes or trading in general, feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you want to and you're new here. Do it! Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to actually take a second to show you guys that the method that I talked about in my recent video works, and I wanted to use some examples that you guys actually gave me. Here I'm going to insert a couple of pictures of lazy sales that we got from people just watching the video, and it's kind of funny how easily you can make coins. As you see in this image here, people are selling contracts at five to 700 coins, and you can easily get them at 150. We also had someone sell a Lorente 100k over price because someone mixed up their numbers and he was just listing. And we also had someone sell a gold Upa McConnell for like 42 and a half K. And this is just the start. If you guys do it enough, you will make coins with it. I know it sounds kind of funny, but um, I appreciate you watching and I hope it gives you some extra coins throughout the year. So let's first talk about what you're seeing on my screen, which is a ones to watch Taliska SBC, which is really cool. and. He came out as an 82 rated card, and this was just a few days ago. He had some demand. What, what makes Taliska interesting is that he plays in the Saudi League. There isn't a ton of links to him, right? So not many people are going to be rocking Saudi League teams. Uh, you could kind of squeeze him in with some Brazilians or maybe Paulinho, but there are really, really select options. What made it really interesting is after the SBC came out, Taliska actually had a really good performance, and he had two goals in their game. And this is really odd for EA to do, is his once to watch SBC expired after Team of the Week, and he actually received a team of the week so his ones to watch is already upgraded if you're watching this video as of right now you can actually go complete this if you want not sure how many upgrades he'll do he'll get or anything like that but their team still has a chance to win five out of ten games and he could get another plus one so if you like a card like this or you're rocking a brazilian team feel free to get him done now because of this weird scenario where he actually received an upgrade so you pretty much got a free upgraded version of taliska so many people completed him and they completed him in mass i know probably like a thousand plus people got this card even as a super sub and he's a super duper cheap SBC. if you've been grinding like the objectives where you can get a 50k or 100k pack you can likely do this card for next to nothing so many people got him in and people wanted to squeeze him in their team i played with his gold he was a really good card and he was really tough to link in as i mentioned earlier you kind of had a shot at doing polino right and polino is now in an interesting scenario because he's actually a free agent and he really just got taken out of pack so there's a lot going on around this taliska SBC, but this Paulinho's, Paulinho's probably going to go extinct at 10k because he's out of packs now. And this is one of the best ways to link to Liska because they, they get a link together and they're both good cards. So you're seeing him in super inflated for that reason. I'll show you his graph from yesterday. He was like hovering around 3k, which was a fine price. He shot up all the way to 8.3 and then he went, out of, uh, he went down to 6.8 overnight, but now he's out of pack. So he is going to go extinct probably at 10k and he for sure will over the coming days and over weeks, no problem. You either had that option and then of course here on my screen you had option too. If you guys have been on the channel for a little bit now, you know that we did try this card and I really disliked him. Why are you the way that you are? Al Jabir, I hope I say that right. I hope it's not Al Haber. If it is, scream at me, yell at me, do what you got to do. He he was the other option to link him in, right? Because he's got he's in the league, so he pretty much gives that perfect link. What happened with him yesterday is he was floating around 90k-ish, and he shot up to 130, and he bounced around a little bit, but now he's 120k, and people want this card to link into Liska. It's either him or Paulinho, like I said, and it kind of depends on what formation you're using or what other cards you have in your team. So yesterday, there was some really interesting movement on this card, because what happened was we actually got a Team of the Week leak a few hours before. If you guys are on Twitter or Instagram, you probably saw the Team of the Week leaked. It was 100% accurate. Sometimes that information just comes out a little bit sooner. We knew that Taliska would get an inform, and what happened was people started buying up Al Jabir beforehand, and they bought him up pretty, pretty darn high. They bought him up to like 105k, and kind of what happened is everyone was trying to sell him right away. So right at... 6 p.m. UK people right at 6 p.m. UK everyone kind of listed him because they were they were excited and they thought like oh man people are going to do Taliska I made a good investment and this happens a lot we kind of talked about this with Gab Gabriel Jesus when he got team of the week right people over anticipated some selling and some hype what happened was he actually got kind of panic listed around 6 p.m. UK and he dropped down all the way to 105k I'll insert a little screen here showing the prices I saw him at I even told my discord I'm like this looks pretty cheap on this card considering 
there's a lot of people that are going to do Taliska all day. What I did was I picked up 10 of him around 105k and I have sold most of them for like 125 to 135k. I haven't kept all my sales because like I talked to you guys about in my recent video, which we'll link at the end, you always want to be listing cards. So I have cleared a lot of them, but some of them did sell this morning around 130K. We got him at 105K or under and sold here and it was like 200K profit within a short window of time. The reason this worked and what you really needed to know about this is people panic sold way too fast where people complete SPCs kind of slowly. And then you just simply needed to know that Taliska is super duper hard to link in a team. So people are going to buy these heroes to look for them. now. I wanted to talk about one more example of this that you'll probably see at some point this year. And I'm not sure when exactly that will be, but it's going to happen in my opinion, and it's going to happen for sure. Clint Dempsey is the other hero right now that isn't holding too much value, right? He's He's got the MLS links, and he's American. He's not super popular right now, and he's pretty much at like a discard value, I think at like 56k, 55k at least on PS. Yeah, he's, he's pretty much discard value. Once we get like, if you guys remember last year, we got the MLS milestone objectives. If something like that were to return, Clint Dempsey would shoot up like 20 to 50k no problem especially in the hype a card like this if you're on a huge budget isn't terrible to have in your club because he's literally like a discard value i mean i think he the least you can list him at is like 54k if you want to keep one in your club on a huge budget and hope for something to come out like a flashback alexander pato for example he's in the mls i think that would be a super exciting card personally and then clint dempsey would instantly have more value because he's such a hard card to link that if a sweet paddle comes out which i used to love Pato and Foot, so I would definitely complete him. Clint Dempsey would shoot up in value, and you need to know that the heroes provide that really cool link. That is going to be the best way to trade with them. And I think there are some other situations to look for too, where you could see a good rise in heroes like Dudek here. Because of the links he does provide, if a really good center back came out as an SPC from the Premier League, you would probably see him shoot up in value. The other one that kind of doesn't hold much value is Ocampos. Watch out for like a Silver Star center back or something that links him in. Again, he's at the bottom of his PRs. If he gets a really good link, I think people are going to have fun playing with this card. He's super duper good keeper, but I know he's a little bit shorter, but he's a good keeper and got nice stats. And I just think it'll be really interesting if they release a center back to link him in. And I typically EA is pretty intentional about that. Like if they see a card that is at the bottom of their price range or no one has any desire for it, they will try to give it some desire. Be on the lookout for that and know that heroes will go up in those certain situations where they provide a really necessary link and you can trade with them like that. If you guys liked the video today and it helped you out, just like the video. I like to be liked. And if you're new here and you haven't seen the other videos, I did drop a really, really simple way to trade and effective way to list cards video just recently. You guys should check it out. I'll uh, try to link it somewhere in here. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.